good. <laughs> They're really good. Oh, hello. Welcome to Weekly News Roundup, where we cover the week's biggest news events. I'm Molly Breen. And I'm Jenna McCarthy. So, it was a pretty big week for news here at Princeton. Um, so, starting with the most controversial thing that happened, at a gathering hosted by the Muslim Students Association, a man apparently who just lives in Princeton was in the meeting the entire time and then asked students why they hated Jews and said that Muslims were going to hell and went through yeah. a student's backpack. Wow. He was identif he identified himself as a member of the Knights Templar, which you may remember from the Da Vinci Code. Apparently they've been defunct since the 13th century, but don't know when they decided to make a comeback. Anyways, after he started making his threats, all 70 students at the meeting were moved to a different secure location while P-Safe was called. So let's hope that that does not happen again. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, on a lighter note, some of you who are passing through Frist this week might have noticed an interesting sight on the 100 level. There was a group of monks who were creating a mandala for the university this week in honor wow. of Peace Day. What's a mandala, Jenna? It is a piece of sand art that is wow. created over a long period of time using these cool little like metal things that like kind of vibrate a little. Um, I don't really know the technicalities of making a mandala, but it was really beautiful and was supposed to symbolize like the unity of all religions, so it had a bunch of different symbols on it. And then on Thursday, after it was completed, they actually swept it up and threw it into Lake Carnegie because it's supposed to symbolize wow. the transience of all things, it's which really, is really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. Yeah. Um, so if you didn't get to see that, you missed out, Google it. It's really awesome. Yeah. Um, in other campus news, if you have really good walking backwards skills and you can memorize guidebooks, you could get paid for it. In the spring, the Orange Key organization is going to start paying their tour guides. They may be eligible for work study, apparently, too. Yeah, they haven't worked out all the details, but it is no longer a volunteer-only organization, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> in other news, there may be some changes made to the way that pre-orientation programs are structured. Um, disclaimer, I'm an OA leader. Disclaimer. Um, She's biased. So... Just saying. When... So, the vast majority of students actually do come early because of mm -hmm. things like OA, CA, and preseason for some sports. So there's actually only about 200 students who don't come early. So the university Weirdos. decides that um, it would be better to have pre-orientation like, activities happening on that day rather than the week after so parents don't have to come back. Um, and they're also deciding whether or not they want... I don't know if they want to make it mandatory or they just want to strongly encourage students to do these pre-orientation programs, which could be interesting. Yeah, yeah. In other... Campus news, kind of going full <laughs> circle, starting with bad news and ending with bad news, mm -hmm. such as the transience of life, I guess. Just ask the monks. The university tied with Yale for being second worst in the Ivy League in lab violations of animal rights. So apparently the university hasn't been very good about uh, make, having its chimpanzees properly fed and or... Hydrated. Hydrate, hydrated. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. And a female marmoset apparently did not receive adequate prenatal veterinary care. So we're tied with Yale for this dubious distinction. However, on like this quantitative scale, the university was like a 48 or a 49. Somewhere in that. And UPenn range. was like 120. And the higher the number, the more stuff is so messed up. I guess that's one list we don't want to be on top of. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. So... That's about it for this week. Hope you enjoyed this week's edition, and stay tuned for next week's news on Weekly News Roundup. Good night. <laughs> that was the least offensive take you've ever done. Really? Go us! <laughs>